Hey, what's up my beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? So today I'm going to be talking about how I went to Japan and how I lived over there for one year. So if you want to live in Japan, not just try one visit, but actually live there for a long time, the two best ways you can do it is to either study abroad, go to a university there, or go work over there. Now, the way I did it was the easiest way, in my opinion, which is study abroad. Now, I would prefer to study abroad because if you work over there, you know, like, yeah, you're going to be working at a Japanese company, but you're going to be working every day pretty much, and you won't get to enjoy like the Japanese life as much. Well, studying abroad, yeah, you have homework and you go to school, but you'll be able to like enjoy your time, enjoy your life, and you know, just uh, do whatever you want in Japan pretty much. So if you're gonna go, you know, I, I suggest you go study abroad first. So the way I did it was, I did it through my university here in America, which is the easiest way to do it. I mean, you can apply to a Japanese university directly, but it's better if an American university does it for you because they like do all the complicated stuff, like all the paperwork, all of that. Now, my university has a couple study abroad programs for Japan. There's around, I wanna say like three or four, and they all go to like different universities in Japan, throughout Japan. Um, the best program, which is the one I did, was my university they pay for the classes in japan they pay for the rent and the university gives me money every month to spend on food utilities and pretty much spend on whatever i want so pretty much they pay for the classes they pay for the rent and they're giving me around 400 500 dollars every month to spend on myself and spend like on food and stuff so really really good program really freaking good program they take care of me man my university took care of me now the only downside is that at my university only two people get chosen per year to go only two people get that amazing program so two spots right how many people are fighting for those two spots to go to japan for about a year and get everything taken care of well when i first arrived at my university i was taking some japanese classes i heard about that program and i really wanted to take that specific program because all the other japanese programs at my university like you have to either pay for half of it or pay for all of it out of pocket so obviously the program i did was the one i wanted the one that only has two spots for two people so here i am in class with like 10 other people and everybody wants to do the program right all right cool and i thought it was going to be pretty difficult to get into that program because you know a lot of competition from like the previous people who already took Japanese class and then the people who are currently taking Japanese class. A lot of competition, right? That's what I thought. But then when I applied for the program, I found out that only like four people applied for that specific program, which was kind of surprising for me because I thought a lot more people would be interested. But the thing is that the people who, who were in my Japanese class either didn't have the time because they wanted to graduate very early at our university or people dropped out of the university. So they, they just dropped out of school or or like they were just too scared like they just didn't go through with it so only four students applied and I got lucky and I got picked to be one of them so you know I went I enjoyed my life over there I had a good time I came back and this is where things started to kind of surprise me right I came back after a year back to America I went back to my university and I went to my Japanese class and I kind of told the new Japanese class like about my experience studying abroad in Japan there was about 15 students in that class you know a lot of them were excited they're like yeah we're gonna go to Japan next year I want to take that program that the one you took because it's a good program you know pretty much everything gets paid for and I'm like yeah you guys should do it definitely you know I recommend it it's a good good experience so anyway the year that I came back I found out that only one student went and took the program after me so when I went it was me and this one girl and then the following year after we returned only one student went to that amazing program only one student I started asking questions why like such an amazing program again they pay for your rent they pay for your classes they pay for your school and they give you about 400 500 bucks every month to spend on yourself and you're telling me that only one person applied like come on go Psh what the heck man like japan one year pretty much live over there for free learn japanese you know and only one person applied so that one person obviously went to japan but they were there by themselves because nobody else went with them i was surprised man i was surprised so so when i came back i found that out and i was surprised so i was starting asking questions like why is nobody applying you know and i kind of found out that n no one is really interested in going to japan and at well, my university specifically even though there is many students with japanese minors and they all say they want to go like i said they either drop out they lose interest or are too scared so anyway the next year i went me 
and this one girl went one year, one student went by themselves. Now this third year, I was kind of wondering like, all right, my friend told me like, hey Kiko, would you go to Japan again? The exact same program, would you do it again? And I'm like, hell yeah, I would do it. And they asked me like, why don't you apply? You know, do it, do it a second time before you graduate. And I'm like, well, I would apply, but the thing is, there's only two spots and I don't want to be a jerk and apply and take one spot because I already had my chance. I already went, I already enjoyed myself and I don't want to take one of those spots from someone else, you know? I want someone else to have the opportunity to go instead of me. So anyway, my friends told me like, well, you know, last year only one person went. So maybe this next year, there's going to be one free open spot that no one's gonna take. I thought about it so I went to go talk to the study abroad coordinator here at our university and I told I told her I'm like hey listen I already went to Japan but I found out that only one student went last year and if by any chance any chance at all this year if nobody goes or if only one spot is taken hit me up because I would like to go again you know amazing program again everything is paid for. I didn't think it was gonna happen man because there was a lot of students taking Japanese that that semester and they all said they wanted to go to Japan. So anyway, um, like a week before the deadline to apply, I get a message, an email from the study abroad coordinator. And she said, yo, listen, Kiko, I'm like, what's up? Only one student is applying for the program. So if you want to take that second spot, you can take it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Put in my paperwork and I went to Japan again, man. A second time, took the program again and I got everything paid for. Pretty much live over there for free. I enjoyed myself a second time and now I'm back and it surprises me. Like, yeah, there are these amazing programs out there that you could apply for and people, like even though people say they're gonna apply for it, like you don't know, like, like I said, this program only accepts two people and these past two years, only one person has been applying. This next year, after I came back, this next year, I started asking again, like, hey, how many people are going to that program that amazing program how many people are going only one come on guys like <laughs> like I'm surprised man like it surprises me like yeah everybody wants to go to Japan there's a program that takes care of you but nobody's applying like why is nobody applying like psh, you know um, there is a summer program here at my university where they picked around 20 students can go to Japan for one month and my university either pays for half of it like the classes or the rent I'm not sure which one but I think they pay for they pay for half of it I don't know if it's classes or if it's rent and food but they pay for something like they, 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 they help you out a lot but only 20 students can go for the summer program in Japan and guess what I found out only one person did it so anyway, um, I guess more of the story is, man, like I don't think other universities out there are like my university where my university students at my university don't seem to be that interested in Japan. They're more interested in European countries or um, South America countries. Um, I doubt other universities are like that, but my university, like, I, like I've been surprised. Nobody wants to go to Japan and there's a lot of amazing programs out there. Best way to go to Japan, do it through a university. If you want to work in Japan in the future, you know, find a university that has Japanese language courses and has Japanese study abroad programs because even if you don't want to study anything and all you want to do is work in Japan going to a university will help you study Japanese and will also give you opportunities to go study abroad over there and if you do study the language and get a like a degree in the language then you're gonna have more opportunities for jobs over there so you're not wasting your time at the university you know because you're learning Japanese studying abroad coming back graduating and then working you know so universities do give you a bunch of opportunities do you have to be smart no you don't have to be smart I'm dumb in high school I was a rebel um, <laughs> I almost dropped out of high school I went to alternative school which is like a school for like the bad kids I went to that I've been suspended in school suspension multiple multiple times I was a rebel in high school I skipped class man like I was a bad student and I'm dumb I did not get any good grades so some dumb kid me from high school like like even even a college dude I'm dumb like I'm dumb I'll made it right now if I can do it you can do it that's all I'm saying you know <laughs> but one thing you gotta keep in mind is you know, like throughout the experience when I went to Japan and like the whole applying process the university helps you out a lot but don't expect to get help from friends or family like it's cool if you get help from your friends and family and support but at the end it's gonna be all on you you're the one that's gonna have to make the effort to go out there find the information about programs you're the one that's gonna make the effort to go talk to like the people the right people like the study abroad coordinators and stuff find a list of like the documents you need like you have to put the effort in you have to go do it like don't be like relying on people you know like you're the one that's gonna have to make it happen I did not get any support from my parents like yeah they supported me to like go study you know like like emotional support 
a financial support no i didn't get no financial support man but that's all right like you know my parents do support me but they, they're not giving me any money like it's all on me man it's all on me so yeah at the end man if you want to make it happen make it happen but just remember that it's gonna be all on you go ask questions go find out what you need to find out find out the deadlines what you need um and just make it happen go do it it's worth it i think people who who say they want to do it but then they get scared or back out last minute because they don't want to go abroad for one year away from their family that's too scary I understand, but the thing is, yeah, it's one year and it's scary to leave your home and leave everything that you know for one year, but one year passes by really quick. I told my friend, the one, when I went to Japan with my friend, when we arrived, she told me that she was really scared and like she was nervous and, and she was mind blown because we were gonna be there for a year and she was sad because she already missed her family. But I told her the first day we arrived, hey listen, a year seems like a long time, but before you know it, we're gonna be heading back to the States. And yeah, on the last day, she looked at me, she like, yo, that year, this past year did go by so fast like we arrived and then we returned a year is not that long guys like it seems like a long time but you gotta like just take you know be brave you know take that take that step you know like hey yeah i'm gonna leave my town i'm gonna leave the comfort of my life and my family to go abroad it's scary but it's worth it you know you gotta do it it's just one of the things about life you know you just gotta take those those little steps you know well i guess in this case like this big step and go to a different country it's worth it and it's gonna change your life it, it opens your mind it really does open your mind <laughs> so working in japan how do you apply well i mean the easiest way to work in japan is through the jet program it's the most common one but yeah becoming an english teacher in japan there's lots of jobs you can pretty much find a job like really easily um there's the jet program but there's other programs where you can become an English teacher. I talked to this one girl while I was in Japan and you know she was from the States. She said she was from like New York. No, California. She was from California. I asked her, I'm like, how did you find a job here in Japan? And she told me she's been working there for like three years. And she told me, honestly, all I did was get on Facebook, look up like companies in Japan, small companies, big companies. And I just started messaging them on Facebook like, hey, I don't know any Japanese, but I want to work in Japan. Do you have any openings? And she said somebody messaged her back. Yeah, we're looking for a foreigner, you know. Um, you don't need to know any Japanese in this job. The next thing you know, that small company is hiring her and taking her to Japan. And now she's been there for three years and she started off there not knowing any Japanese. How did she get the job? She just messaged Japanese companies on Facebook. That's all she had to do. And I'm just kind of like, <laughs> right? No, I guess that's it. Like, I have nothing else to say. Like, if you guys have any questions, you know, let me know. Drop it in the comment section. That's it for this video. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.